I think we should start with the shooting chart because this is just mind boggling. This is the, this is not Photoshop. This is the actual shooting of someone that you claim is the goat. As I will show you, and as I have shown you before, but we'll show you again today in this video, his points come from uncontested layups and undeserved free throws. Nothing inspiring. And even though he had 24 attempts, he only had 28 points, but they won against the lowly Magic. But it supports my hypothesis that when LeBron scores 30 or more, the Lakers lose. All right, we've got the Magic and the Lakers. We're going to start things off with LeBron's shocking air ball. But listen to the uh, major network announcer. And in practice every day talking about that. James misfires on his first attempt of the night. All right, now listen to the local announcer. Their last road win was at Detroit on the 11th of this month. That's way off for LeBron. Air ball, he'll hear it. All right, so. Like the Thomas Bryant. And in practice every day talking about that. James misfires on his first attempt of the night. Misfires. Misfires? That's about the nicest way you could put that. I mean, he's almost three feet away from anything at all. That's crazy how bad his shooting is. All right, now, oh, followed shortly by a turnover. I mean, that was just a really bad pass. So on this play, LeBron is supposed to be guarding Bull Bull. And as soon as he sees the ball go away, LeBron just quits playing. And Bull Bull goes by him, gets the rebound, which results in the points for the Magic. And then LeBron has the nerve to do the blame hand thing. Watch him. There's LeBron, and he just stops. Like, he looks like he's done playing. Bull Bull goes right in front of him. The rebound lands in his lap, right where LeBron James should have been getting the rebound. And watch LeBron. There he goes. I, I, you motherfucker. How dare you blame someone else after that? All right, this is what you should not do if you're a Laker, and that's pass it to LeBron James on the outside. Bricko. We have another chance to look at LeBron's amazing D. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he reacted. He was just resting under there, watched the magic offense go right past him. I know it wasn't his man, but what was he doing? You can't say he was helping. <laughs> he didn't seem to be guarding anyone the entire time. I'm leaving this layup in there because I'm tracking how many times LeBron goes to the rim without anyone going anywhere near him, touching him, because all the LeBron fans claim that he's not going to the foul line enough. LeBron, where the offense goes to die. Hold, hold, hold brick. And here we go. 418 left, and LeBron is already doing his disgusted shoulder motion. 418 to go in the first. So, Russ is two for two coming off the bench. That's pretty uh, good to be able to come off the bench and just start drilling him. I just, just the reason I'm mentioning it is all you LeBron excuse makers saying that the Lakers suck. Westbrook comes off the bench. You spoiled fucking brats. Okay, so to end the first, LeBron has two turnovers and four points on two of five shooting. 0 for 1 from 3. Thank Westbrook for your point at the rim, LeBron. The only place you can shoot from. One of the two players here does something skillful. The other one does something that I can do. One draws the D. The other one makes a bank shot right underneath the rim. I don't understand what's going on on this play. Just watch LeBron. He's like lost. Like he, he started to guard two people, but didn't end up guarding either of them. And the one he almost guarded passed to the one he was supposed to be guarding, who scored. Like LeBron didn't guard anyone properly. Once again, it is the movement of the ball by the Lakers that sets LeBron up for his, what is now a standard, just wait until everyone forgets about him and then cut. I mean, 
God, all these points are, he's getting are fucking easy layups. I'm sorry, that's not how you should break a scoring title. Very next play, LeBron's going to do another layup. And the only real question is whether or not he's getting bailed out with that whistle. Oh, fucking Christ. Of course he's got to lay on the ground like the world ended again. Dude, you went flying out of control. It's your fault that you fell down. Fucking get up, you bitch. Oh, my God. Who the fuck supposedly fouled him? That dude is so alone. Oh, you fucking dramatic bitch. And here's some free throws that he should not be shooting. More points that should not go toward the title. And another foul that should have him on the bench. You know, I realize Darvin Ham doesn't have a choice and that his uh, marching orders are to let LeBron try and get the scoring title, but setting plays up for a shitty three-point shooter like this over and over again, you, you, the Lakers aren't trying to win. You can't keep setting LeBron up for outside shots if you're actually taking winning seriously. Come on. I mean, the guy was 0 for 7 from 3 tonight. Change your fucking strategy. Here's an idea. Maybe the guy who goes 0 for 7, by the way, he's gone 0 for 7 multiple times this season. So pull your head out of your ass, Darvin Ham, and stop running plays for LeBron James on the perimeter. Stop playing LeBron James, period. Interesting, interesting little stat. Uh, LeBron scored 28. He did not score 30, which continues to support my hypothesis that when LeBron scores 30, the Lakers lose. Like this. Hey, give it to Reeves. Did you see how wide open LeBron was, by the way? Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Just leave LeBron out there in his nap zone. LeBron's excited because this is his chance. Layup time. I wonder if they have a rule with the Lakers, too, that you have to give LeBron uh, the cutting drive, you know, helping him pad his stats. All right, uh, LeBoner fans, I hope you're all really proud. LeBron has made a bunch of uh, uncontested layups. That's uh, That's difficult to do, isn't it? Hey, everyone, at the expense of the entire Laker team, watch LeBron pretend to be able to dribble and brick it. Just squander the entire offensive possession for a guy who can't shoot to save his life. Hey, LeBron, it's Coach. There's a reason that you're open. And that's the reason. Here we have another case of... A three-pointer drained right in LeBron's lazy defensive ass. Hey, team, since I have the hot hand, why don't you let me shoot it? There we go. <laughs> I, I just don't fucking get it. Come on. Uh, LeBron's a man scores again. LeBron gets points right at the rim again here, but my question is, and I, I know this happens a lot in the league, but how much of this pushing and shoving and hooking here to get open is actually legal? I'm not I'm not trying to pick on LeBron in this case. Like I, I don't know anymore because he sees so much of it and then a ref will call something. I mean never on LeBron, but how much of that arm wrestling shit is legal now? Now watch LeBron. You can see that he has no intention of passing. And this is the ultimate in bailout. Because he was going to throw himself at the rim. Period. I mean, he's slamming into the defenders. Are, are, they, are the defenders allowed to be there when LeBron decides to slam into them? Okay, or or is it uh, required that the defenders leave, just leave the lane, which they should start doing just to make a joke out of the joke 
of LeBron James's uh, scoring and bullshit foul calls. Well, it's time for LeBron to get excited again because a teammate is going to give him an easy bucket. You notice that there were multiple trailers, but you all, all you always knew LeBron was going to have it lobbed to him. It's a rule. Once again, it's the same thing. Here's Westbrook trying to give it to LeBron, but Le LeBron just smokes it. LeBron just smokes an easy layup. I mean, when the refs don't bail him out, you know he uh, had to been really wide open. Say thank you. Say thank you to Austin Reeves. He made the steal. He made the great lob. Uh, I nominate LeBron for Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, just look at him work. It's inspiring. That is a tough assignment. And I don't care if there's an excuse. You can't tell me that LeBron James doesn't have the easiest defensive assignment on the Lakers. Because that's what he does every game. He goes and takes a fucking nap down in the key. Well, LeBron's back in. Chuck one up. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, my God. Come on. Magic, get a rebound. Jesus Christ, he's using up the whole thing. So LeBron missed twice in one possession. This looks like he's getting ready to uh, commit an offensive foul, and he just fucking dribbles it off of his feet or something. And wh where is he? Oh, that's nice of him. LeBron made it across half court just in time for the other team to put it in. Which is better than he usually does after he misses or screws up for whatever reason he decides to quit. Oh, hold, hold, hold. No one is allowed to guard him. I mean, they just part the Red Sea. I gotta think of that Sports Illustrated article article again as I watch LeBron hold, 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 and then finally get it to Reeves with uh, 1.5 seconds left on the clock. Them claiming that LeBron has to force up tough shot shots because of his teammates. Looks like LeBron putting his teammates in tough positions to me. 